The official release of Python 3.13 is scheduled for the 1st of October. It brings major changes such as GIL can be made optional, improved JIT compiler, incremental garbage collector, and many more. But among all, Python has improved their boring REPL by adding features that increase productivity and user experience. Okay, we have two terminals opened side by side. On the left side, I am starting the interactive shell. We can see Python version 3.12 here. Now, on the right side, we are doing the same. It's Python version 3.13. The first thing you will experience is prompt appearing in color by default in the new version. Whereas, we can see the regular white prompt on the left side. The colored prompt gives the REPL a rich look. Let me show you one more thing. If there is a mistake in the expression and we execute it, the traceback we get will also be in color, but this ain't the case on the left side. Moving further, what will happen if we run this command? Think about it. We'll get an error. But this works if we do the same on the right side. That's great, right? Hence, we can use commands like help, exit, and quit without calling them as a function in the newer version. One bonus point, the clear command is added to the newer version. Next, we can use the F1 key to get directly into the help mode and get help on whichever standard libraries we want. If we do the same on the left side, we get nothing. We can even browse the REPL's history using the F2 key. Wait a second, let me show you. Now when we press the F2 key, we get the history of what we have done. Well, something I noticed when I was writing the functions. Let me show you. The new REPL is indenting the code automatically. But in the old REPL, we need to manually indent the code using the tab key. Now, the most wonderful feature of the new REPL is the ability to edit multi-line code. Let's see how. Here's a class with multi-line code. We created a class instance and are currently accessing its attribute. Great. Now, what if we need to edit the code? Press the arrow up button until you reach your code. Once there, you can edit the code as you see fit, such as we are adding another attribute in the constructor method. Now, make an instance of the class and access the newly added attribute. Another interesting feature is the functionality for pasting larger blocks of code easily. First, we need to get into the paste mode by pressing the F3 key. Once we're in, paste the code. Now, press F3 again to return to prompt mode and run the code. See, the code executed collectively. In our old REPL, if we try to do the same, we can see that the code was executed automatically in smaller chunks. Obviously, we don't want that, do we? Exactly, so that's it. All right. Which feature you find interesting? Do let me know in the comment section and the same old thing, like this video, and subscribe for more Python goodness.